Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick and welcome back to 7 Days. We are on day 4. So, I did not read that. I didn't want to kill anyone. I'm waiting some for someone to die. I think it's talking about my task. I didn't want to kill anyone. I'm waiting for someone to die. I say I didn't want to kill anyone. Sigh. Don't overthink it. For now, you need to stay focused on fighting Blame. You're not looking too great. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to change the speed. Okay, much better. Now I can control it to any, like, auto. Think of it. Okay. Right, my dream is just so real. I had the most unbelievable dream. Um... Come to think of it, turns out I know how to use a gun. Argo, can I use your gun for a second? There's something I want to test out with your gun, Argo. Um, I'm going to say there's something I want to test. This must have something to do with your dream. Here you go. Hmm. Now that I'm holding the gun... It doesn't feel too awkward. Whoa. Your gun, it's gone. I I don't believe it. It came back to me. Whoa, Kirill. Was that some sort of magic trick? The gun disappeared from your hands and went back to Argo's waist. I didn't know I could do that. What do you make of it, Argo? I think it's a rule they have here. A rule? I expect Hilde holding my gun will have the same result. Um, Hilde? Oh, he's right. The gun just vanished from my hands. I guess that means you can't use someone else's weapon. I guess Hilde and I won't be able to finish... Uh, we'll be able to fight Argo then. Also, with fighting Ar- uh, not Argo, uh, Balaam, you wouldn't be able to fight him either, or disarm him completely. But I would think... Using this gun is a role reserved for me. If you don't mind, Hilde, please stop talking, taking it. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. It's just so cool how it keeps disappearing. I just want to try a few things out. Look, I think I can hold it for something like two or three seconds. Plus, it doesn't disappear while it's in the air. And if you throw it... Hilde throws the shotgun up into the air. But when it, I catch it out of the air, two or three seconds later, ta-da! Maybe you should stop fooling around with someone else's stuff. Um, she's playing with a gun, and that probably isn't something you want to throw. Whoa, you don't want to be pointing that gun at anything but a target. Don't throw it. Yeah, for her safety, I'm gonna... It's a good thing not to throw that into the air. Carol's right. You should never point a gun at a comrade. Even if it's not loaded. True, true. I didn't know it wasn't loaded, I'm just saying, in general. And throwing a gun is dangerous. It could go off. That's what I'm saying, really? Yes, it's very important, and I do hope you don't forget. Right, I'm sorry, I won't, it won't happen again. I'd be pretty ticked off, too, if I was him. Anyways, Kirill, that must have been some dream. For you to ask to try out my gun first thing in the morning. 
My dream told me I was professional killer when I was alive. So I tell them about it. Or should I tell them about it? I think I was killing people in my dream and it was r and uh, I was really good at it. I had a gun in my hand but got myself killed because I didn't know how to use it properly. I've been shooting people since I was a child. <laughs> okay, which which is why you wanted to test your skills on my gun. It was only a few seconds, but your posture was absolutely perfect. So, Kirill, do you think you might have been in the military or a contract killer or something like that? I think... I'm thinking I was a military contract killer sounds about right. To me, it sounds more like Kirill to me. Because she was a runaway, so I don't think she's for the military, as I expected. This shotgun is a closely close-range weapon. Kirill has experience shooting a gun in the city or on the streets. Is that correct? He's on. He's spot on, and he's right because I know her uh, her background a little bit because of the stories that I read throughout the this these days. I had a feeling that might be the case. I knew you were someone dangerous, Carol. I am dangerous, but I'm not going after them. I'm sure there's a story behind it all. True. Plus, even if Carol was a contract killer before, she's a comrade now. True. People who work in dangerous circumstances understand the importance of comrades. I don't know if that's t true because you. It depends on who you're trusting. Isn't that right, Carol? Right. Plus, we uh, have a common enemy now. Uh huh. We need to work as a team now. Uh, I'm gonna say let's work as a team. All right. We need to stop blame first. Given the circumstances. Say, uh, Kirill's past works in our favor. Until we take blame out, that's it. I wonder what happens when blame's out of the picture. I think that's all the time we have for chit chat. Look over there. It's the undead. There's quite a few of them this time, too. I'll be able to shoot my gun properly this time, unlike before. We should be able to make uh, short work of them. 20 minutes later. The undead must be really, really slow where they moved. And they moved. <laughs> this is an outcome I didn't expect. The more of them we bring down, the more of them appear. Right, they were coming at us almost like they wanted to die. Yeah, take one down and two more takes its place. That seems more reasonable. These undead, they're even more like zombies than before. Something of them seemed to be coming straight from my muzzle. It felt uneasy killing them for some reason. It's probably because they were people at one point. I didn't think that uh, they actually want to die. Instead of being struck over here for stuck over here forever. I guess it goes without saying, but I don't want to end up like that. Very good statement. Uh, it looks like we're surrounded. What do we do? You think we might get eaten? I think we should both pick up some rocks all day. Uh, stand aside if you're scared. Um, try and put up a fight rather than just hiding. Uh, I'd like that too. I won't be able to provide cover for us all. Since you have no gun, how about those sticks over there? Ooh, that's a nice stick. Might be a little short though. <laughs> I guess it's better than nothing. True. That stick was wrapped that she used. It looked like a bat. 
Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
it's a very useful ability. I have no idea who is who he is and what he's after though. We don't have much time. I believe our best option in situations like this is to minimize the degree of uncertainty. Still, having a lot of people uh, working with you has to be a good thing. I don't know if Philo is useful, but he's still suspicious. And Hilde, I guess she doesn't care. Anyways, I should continue talking to Philo. What is it you're talking about? Why are you helping us, Philo? Can you tell us about your task? I want to know what his task is, considering he's a little boy that died. <laughs> Come to think of it, Karin told me each of us has our own task. Haha, I feel like I am the center of attention all of a sudden. I'm guessing you were all pretty curious to find out what my task is. I have to help other people finish their tasks. I have this requ requiem necklace. I can't hear messages from other people who succeeded in or failed at their tests. Oh, he can hear messages from other people who succeeded in or failed at their tests. If I tell you what my task is, are you going to help me? Yes, I'd be glad to. He'll take a moment. Do you think Philo is telling the truth about his task? He might be trying to make us lower our guard. He's sharp as attack, that Argo. We haven't even told each other about our tasks yet. Philo almost found out just now without even making a proper effort. I don't know how to react to this. I seriously want to help you. Do I trust Philo, or should I be careful of him? I know Argo's suspicious, but he won't be making any decisions by himself. I guess it's up to me whether or not Philo's coming with us. I need to think this before I speak. I already said this earlier. That you should be cautious of who you trust. Philo, I for one cannot believe what you said about your task. Are you really expecting us to believe that your task is only to help us without gaining anything for yourself? Are you some sort of savior? I also don't know how he died. It's not just because of my task. I personally want to help you. So you would have us trust your, your humanity and not your task. Not a chance. Aren't you going being a bit too suspicious? He could just be a genuinely nice guy. Philo, we must only met today. We're not going to trust you right off the bat. And that is true. Things take time. Just like with Argo. He was suspicious of him, but now he's, he seems pretty smart and friendly. He knows what's up. Is there any way you can prove your task to us? If you had to die to help us with our task, would you do it? Um... I don't want to make it sound like I'm going to kill him. <laughs> so, uh, is there any way you can prove your test to us? I don't think there's a way for me to do that right now. But, I'm sure the chance will come if I can stay with you. So, we need to let someone we don't trust stay with us until we know he can be trusted. That's, that's the next thing Like I'd like to know is... Why are the undead avoiding you? That's a good question. Did you have any idea as to why? I'm sorry, but I really have no clue. I tried to ask them, but they won't even come near me. Maybe when he was alive, he had some ability or job. The undead fear. Maybe he's on the same side as Karin, or Karin was sent... Uh, or he was sent by Karin to watch us. I feel like he has something to do with the church. Because that's where he even took us. And it's like a religionist thing. Um, because he said if anyone was following a religion. They wouldn't have to believe it now. So 
I'm guessing he's somewhere along those lines. You said the undead are people who failed at resurrection, right? So what are you trying to say? He's an undertaker? Do you remember anything from your dreams? I did dream about talking with someone at church. There it is again about the church. I feel like that's why they're avoiding him is because he, he has involvement in the church. And I think I saw a number of people die. Hmm. I guess though it would make some sense. Alrighty then, Philo. Why have you been doing these past four days? I was just one... I was just wandering around, not knowing what to do. There wasn't anyone I could help. That's possible since the last ten people here in the city, not counting the undead. So you just let the half seven days go by. <laughs> I had a plus five and now I have minus five. Um... To let four days go by without doing a thing, when your life depends on it, I find that hard to believe. That's why I was so happy to see you. I believe I would have been absolutely elated if I were you. I guess that makes sense. Argo's usually a pretty reversed guy. Or, reserved guy. Reversed guy? I don't know. Philo, I have to be honest with you. I don't trust you, and don't believe what you told us about your task. Plus, I can't tell what is, what it is you're thinking. Is there something else you might be able to tell me that I'd believe? I've been telling you the truth all along, but I don't know what it is you'd like me to say. Argo, honestly, you're being... Too depending. You're not even giving him a chance. Look, Philo, we've been in constant danger for the past few days. We can't afford not to be careful. Yeah, I got like three days left. It's nothing personal against you. And it isn't. I, you know, I have more than half the days gone already, so... Nothing pressed against you. All we want is to ensure our safety and make sure nothing gets in our way of our completing our tasks. I hope... I honestly just want to help. I understand. Carolyn Hilde, I'd like you to hear your opinions now. What do I do with Philo? I need to think carefully before I make up my mind. And I feel like because they said that twice already, that this is where a story will part into two ways. And it can change parts of the story. I think we should let Philo come along. I think I, I'm i against Philo coming with us. Wait, I gotta see if it's negative. Or something, like ability. Zero. Okay, I'm guessing it can't be negative. Uh, delivers... The messages of those who have been died, resurrected through the test, the undead will not attack them. Won't even go near him. Okay. Back to this. I concur. I never really heard Hilde's opinion on this. His claiming to have uh, helped us plus his... Is being kind to us with no good reason to makes me suspicious. If he really is putting an, uh, up an act, he may prove a fatal threat to us all. I honestly don't know. But I guess there's nothing I can do if the two of you feel that way. Sorry, Philo, but it seems we won't be able to take you with us. Sorry, Philo. I don't have anything against you, but I don't have a choice. Oh, well. It's only uh, right that I back off if I'm not helping you out. But Philo, you said that your task is to help others. If someone else's task is to kill, would you be willing to help us with such a task? I've already given you my answer. I'm willing to help anyone with their task. So that means ooh, you might end up 
uh, you might end up helping Balaam as well. You might end up turning on us. Uh, I don't want to just straight up with Balaam. Um, I'm going to say he might end up turning on us. Now, was it zero? This couldn't confirm. Does it stay at zero? Okay, yeah, it definitely can't go negative. <laughs> this boy hates me so much. Yes, consider this our token of gratitude for you saving us. Perhaps Belaim will accept you. It's unfortunate we have to say goodbye. But I'm relieved to know there's more people out that I can help. I'd be better on my way to find whoever that is then. Ah, uh, I feel like because I didn't... Do you really think he'll go to Belaim? Satisfied now, Argo? Oh, is he gonna go to blame? Uh, I still don't think Philo is gonna be dangerous. I just don't get that feeling. That is right. Nothing in this world is free. An offer to help asking nothing in return could very well be a scam. I couldn't believe Philo would be just so kind for us sake kindness sake it makes me feel uncomfortable and suspicious honestly me too when he said he'd help us i had a hard time believing it argo need to kill someone and i need someone to die how would we go around helping that seriously how maybe we had to send philo away because of ourselves not because of him The Banished. Ooh. Ooh, there's a skeleton touching my shoulder. Days of Despair. My friend, the only one who visits me every day. She was in an accident. She keeps... Uh, she'd keep me busy with all she had to say and how loud she was. <laughs> So I wouldn't think of anything el about anything else, but now that she can't come over, those bad thoughts that I had, I'd forgotten about, they're all coming back to me. Maybe that's why I'm beginning to see the ghosts of everyone I killed at night. When, I when I'm all alone in my room at night, they come, and they just stare at me. I tried apologizing, getting angry, crying, everything, but they won't react, they just stare. I'm this close to losing it. Yes. Continue with the game. Day five, the test. Um, excuse me, day zero was a test, I think. Okay, I gotta continue so that I can leave ooh and that is a very small description to each his own here it is the banished I honestly didn't expect you to sus suspect someone who's out to help you I guess helping someone out isn't easy as I thought it would be finally I realized how hard my test really is. Oof. Here it is, Days of Despair. Oof. So, that wraps up this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and without further ado,